Question 1. In the diagram below, each box represents an orbital and each electron is shown as an arrow. Which diagram shows the correct arrangement of electron in an atom of carbon? Carbon has six electrons in its shells. Carbon has got four electrons in the outer shell and two in the inner shell. So in filling the orbitals, we have to follow the half bow principle, Hunt's rule and Pauli exclusion principle. The half bow principle is saying that the lowest energy will be filled first before the next energy. That's half bow principle. And then the Hunt's rule states that any degenerated energy level. So this is a degenerate energy level because they are the same energy. So we call it degenerated. Because they're degenerated, we before we pair up the orbital, we have to partially fill in the orbital first. The total orbitals, the number of orbitals in there. In this case, there are three orbitals. We have to start with one electron, one electron, one electron before we start pairing with um, electrons. So that's what the Hunt rule is saying. And Pauli exclusion principle is saying that um, whenever we pair electron in orbital, one has to be spin up and the other has to be spin down. No two electrons can have the same four quantum number in an orbital. In this case, the one that would be different would be spin up, spin down. And that's Pauli's principle. No two electrons can have the same four quantum number. A uh, spin quantum number will always be up and the other will be down. So now to populate the carbon, it will be 1s2. That will be the first energy level here, 1s. You have to populate it with, with two electrons, followed by the next one, which will be 2s2, 2px1, 2py1. You can circle that one as d and write d. 